All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! My name is Raver from the Sky. Let's do this. Right, so if he hits me directly, plop down Battle Fader, summon Vampire Dragon. If my dragon gets destroyed, I can get um, the head of Exodia. Activates in the graveyard, so to get around skill drain. Most of them will get around skill drain. Although there's some, like, uh, say it's Cyber Valley, that won't. Cyber Valley and uh, Card Card D. But that's a small sacrifice I'm willing to make, because I'm sick of this crap. What happened last to them last five freaking videos is just ridiculous. I know the probability is kind of low because it's restricted to one, but it's better than nothing. Who runs skill drain in a freaking Exodia deck, Raven? I do. Because I'm sick of this crap. It's like, it, and it exposes how effect dependent we all are me included <laughs> i mean even this deck with with if they stop like how what happened like they lock me up paralyzed my field like the cash tyrus did and what he did last turn i mean last video and like take away my ability to go fish i.e like summoning in the graveyard or removing them i'm screwed oh my god You see what I mean? It, you know, that just goes to show. Like, we're all, like, effect dependent. The, like, the meta, the skill drain will stop that. Like, if he didn't have that darn card back there to protect this little time thief, he would have been screwed. He wouldn't have been, been able to do it. I kept vacuuming my cards. Freaking vacuum, bro. Vacuum, bro, man. Vacuum. Vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. I don't set. Almost made a darn mistake. I'm gonna set it for. Of course it does. Well, at least I get the effect. Give me the freaking head. That gets shuffled. Yang Zing. Or oh, is this Albaz? Let 
I took out, uh, I had a poor man's gold sarcophagus there. Different dimension capsule because they kept destroying it. The bad thing is, when you destroy, I used to select the pieces. If you if they destroy that, then the card stays removed. So I just kept that out. Uh. Huh. Wow. So we're going to lose 1,200. They banish our car and we're going to lose 1,200. Or effect. Jesus, man. Give me a break, man. I was doing good with that slime deck, man. And then, and, um, uh, the magician, the, the magicians I was doing, yeah, did pretty good with those. That and the slime deck, I've done the best with that than any deck really in a while. And, uh, but the machines, eh. Now, I'm back at this is Exodia, and I'm stuck in a rut. You can't play around this, but it's just, it's hard to do that, because now he's, he stops my effects. Where the fudge is skill drain at? Dude had some skill successor up there to protect this doggone young zine freaking dragon. Dragon. Skill success. Who uses a skill successor? <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh. Can you believe it? I can believe it. It's happening right in front of me. Mm, 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 mm. Look at this. If I activate Battle Fader, he's just going to negate it. He's just gonna, I'm gonna set it. If he can banish one card, I'm gonna try to see if he, he'll do this instead of Mirror Force. Try to activate Mirror Force during the damage step. But I don't think you can. I think you have to, when they declare the attack, you have to activate it. You can't, I don't think you can wait to the damage step. I don't, we'll see. If I activate it, the reason I didn't activate it, because he would have just banished it and we would have lost another 1200. What is this? <laughs> of course. Of course.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Raver from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and see where you grow. Take care. Catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.